you guys know how to replace a harmonic balancer on a car? How about a front crankshaft seal? Do you know how to replace one of those? No. No? no. Really. So what are you going to do? Well, you should probably find a good video that will help you do it, right? Yeah. Our stepdad makes it on, on oh. the video. Oh. Yeah. Everybody works on and decides to... You got to have good helpers, video. though. I'm Can't make helper. good videos without helpers. Hey, my apologies, guys. I'm about halfway through this project, and I just found my camera. So I'm replacing a front crankshaft seal or a front main seal on my Fox body. So um, I wanted to kind of go through a little bit of the, the tools you need and how I like to do it. Um, I think that there's a, a right tool for every job. So if you have the right tools, it makes it a heck of a lot easier. So if you've never had to take the harmonic balancer off before, there's a special tool you need to pull it because it's pressed on. Um, and also, if you're going to take the um, harmonic balancer bolt off, it's easier if you have an impact. Um, I'll show you what I like to do. So here's the tool. This is my harmonic balancer removal tool. You can see it's pretty comprehensive. This was a pretty cheap kit, came with a case. Um, I'll show you guys how to put this on too. But if you use this kit or something similar to it, you have the right tools that you need to take it off. And then also, I have an install kit. It helps with pressing the balancer back onto the crankshaft easier. You don't have to have something like this, but it's nice to have. You can see it comes with a few different components. This one is a EverTough, that's the installer. I think I picked that up from O'Reilly's, if I remember right. It's a pretty cheap kit. And this one is a, a grip. I don't know if you can see that or not. So let's look at the actual tool for removing it. So you want to find the right bolts that fit in your harmonic balancer. So I'm going to grab these ones here because I need the shorter ones. And then you'll also need the main tool. This threads into there and pushes on the crankshaft. And you'll have to have the right adapter depending if you want the the flat one there, or if you've got a small bolt hole or a bigger one, this is one that I needed for my car. So that guy goes right in the center here. You can kind of see how that's, how that's in there. So what you're going to do is you'll thread this piece in as far as you can into the end of the crankshaft. And these bolts will actually attach to the harmonic balancer. I'm going to go ahead and get this set up on mine so you can see what it looks like. Alright, so this would be our harmonic balancer. And then you can see that I've got this tool installed here. And you get once you remove your crankshaft pulley, you can get this bolt in one of the old bolt holes and you get two of them in here. And then when you thread this in, it pulls the harmonic balancer off of the crankshaft and I've got mine out pretty much all the way you can see just like so alright hopefully you can see this alright so once you get your harmonic balancer out of the way this is your crankshaft so that's what your harmonic balancer was pressed on and then this is your seal so this is the seal that I replaced you can see this one's nice and new um, it looks good it was kind of a pain to, to get in there but you'll use a tool something similar to this. This is a, uh, a seal puller. And you can put it in here, something like this. Pull it out. I found I had a lot better luck if I got a screwdriver underneath that lip and just kind of bent the seal over and did that pretty much all the way around the bottom that I could get to. And then I was able to pull the seal out. And then the new one was kind of a pain to get in. So when you put the new seal in, I used a piece of pipe that I've got, cut it off, and I put it like that. That way I had a surface to, to hammer on, so then I, I would hammer on this and I drove the seal in flat. That way I didn't get it crooked. 
and bend it. And then after you get the seal in and you get it flush, then the really important part is to make sure that so this seal is dry right now, so you need to get some lubrication on there. So grab some oil and you've got to lube that up. I'm going to grab this is going to prevent the seal from getting torn or damaged as you're installing the harmonic balancer back onto this brand new seal. You really don't want to put it onto there dry. Lubrication is a good thing. Plenty of lube. There you go. You can see I got that nice and lubed up. And I'll, uh, I'll lubricate the shaft on the harmonic balancer too. And also on here just to make sure that it slides on easier. Just make the process a lot easier all the way around. For those of you that don't know this, there's a keyway on the inside of there. You can see there's a little notch right on that side, right over there. That's got to line up with the key on the crankshaft. There we go. That's on there right like that. This nut that goes on over the top. Like so. And we got this bolt that goes through it like there. And that, you can see, so that bolt is going to actually grab the other end in there. So I'll go right about like that. See, we're getting that threaded in there. Now you can, if you've got a, if your harmonic balancer um, pulley bolt is long enough, you can just use it. Um, mine's not very long, so I opted to use my install tool. So I'm just going to thread this into the end of the crankshaft by hand as far as I can. You really want to be careful on the threads in the end of your crankshaft. If you ruin those, then you're trying to drill and tap, and that's just bad news. That's not something you want to be doing on your crankshaft. It can be done, but not the greatest idea. All right, so then you're going to take this nut here, cinch it down, and since I don't have any of the right tools with me here. I'm going to use channel lock. Right. Had to get my camera assistant again. <laughs> She's doing a lovely job. So we have to tighten this down and we're going to use channel locks. This shouldn't be a very tough process. So <laughs> if you need much more than channel locks, you've got some other issues. I'm trying to do it so you guys can see what I'm doing also. So what really needs to happen is that's got to stay still. So I got to grab Another set of... Alright, gotta bring out the big guns. Gotta get the big wrench. Alright, so go like that. And then we will tighten this bad boy on there. Like I said, this process should go fairly easily. It's too tough and you've gotta use some really aggressive means and you've got your harmonic balancer on wrong or, or something so just be careful make sure you don't strip anything you'll be good to go I'll cut back to the video after I get this on all the way and go over some more alright so it's installed all the way it bottomed out you can tell it gets really tough um, and it'll be really really close in there so I'm going to take my tool out here now Try to make sure it all comes out in one piece. Huh. So this will come out, and then I'll be able to put the actual balancer bolt in. Yeah, there we go. All right, so that's out. I gotta get this other little piece out of the middle. And then if my assistant can grab me that big old impact wrench right behind her, that big red drill right there, that guy, yep, I'll take that, hold that, all right, so then we're going to use the impact, we're going to get the 
we're going to get the balancer bolt installed again. There's more than one way to skin a cat, obviously. You can use other means to get the uh, balancer bolt back in. I've got to get the center of this tool back out, though. My fingers have so much oil on them, I just can't turn that thing anymore. Good thing for pliers. Alright, so we got that out of there. Now, my balancer bolt, obviously it's an old one. Could use a new one, but eh, oh well. Put the balancer bolt in. I like to start these by hand. I don't ever want to start it with an impact or a drill. You just want to make sure you get it, the threads started right. Alright, so we got it started. Put the impact on. Now mine is good for 450 foot-pounds, so I've got to hang on to it pretty darn good. Otherwise it'll rip my hand off almost. Mm -hmm. There we go. If you don't have an impact, another thing you can do, if you put a screwdriver through one of these bolt holes, it'll get caught on the bottom side of the oil pan, and then when you start turning it, it'll tighten itself. Um, that works too. So there's that. There's replacing that front crankshaft seal. Now the, the rest will just be putting my pulley back on and get my serpentine belt routed again. That's easy stuff. You guys already know how to do that, so I'm not going to bore you to death.